all to my residence here at Buyosi Busia and on behalf of my elders who welcome you on behalf of the communities in the region whom they represent. Our say, wako hapa, kuku welcome, and wao pia wanafanya hivyo on behalf ya wala ambao wameyacha nyumbani. Your Excellency, we support the requests you and our leaders are making to the national and county governments regarding development projects. When our founding fathers were fighting for independence, they promised to fight against poverty, illness, and ignorance. It is disheartening to note that 60 years of independence we have passed and we are still singing about the same issues. The situation has grown worse, in fact. There are no medicines in hospitals. Majority of the people have become poorer, and education is at crossroads. We urge you, as our leaders, and we assure you of our support to continue fighting those evils. Elders want to work with the government of the day and this includes the national and county governments. We want to join hands with the executive and political arms to develop our communities. We should be free to consult and harmonize counties' activities and as, as such, Waze in most counties in Kenya are helping the government to sort out family, shamba, clan, and intertribal conflicts, and only go to court as the last resort. This saves the government money and the courts time. The national government and the counties should financially assist the Wazes as uh, to enable them to reach the possible problems which they help to solve. This can be done by giving some seating allowances. We would appreciate if the leaders of the council could be given a clear timeline as to how to communicate with the governors and the political officers in the quickest manner when necessary to avoid long-awaited appointments and the telephones not being taken. We may have an urgent issue to discuss about. When we see, when we ring sometimes to our officers in offices, they, talk, they don't take telephones. And when we want to make appointments, what, what at party appointments, kama karibu kufika wana sema, oh, we, we are postponing until, eventually you get tired and they will never give you appointment. We are asking that please, when we ask for an appointment, we have a reason. Give us an opportunity. <clears throat> for, some, for, for revival, uh, sorry, um, yeah, fight the revival of the projects that have collapsed like Mumia Sugar Factory, the five cotton generies in Bushia County, the ailing Minzoya um, Sugar Company, and repossess Webuye paper mills. Webuye paper mills, you all know, was taken away at uh, uh, throwaway price. And it was not bought, those who bought are not doing, taking the purpose why they bought. Imekua store ya kuweka viti ya magendo. So please, fight. We, you people, we have put in power and in authority, politicians and so on, so that we get Webuye paper back. Webuye paper is not just the machine there. Webuye paper, in fact, there is a location called, uh, an area called Webuye Pan Paper. Na hiyo ni forest. Uyu amechukua forest, amechukua forest kwa mana ni mutu ambao. Hakutaka kufanya mambo ya kurefive factory. Kwa hivyo tafadhali, inawezekana. Sirikali inaweza lipa uyu pesa ambayo walikuwa wamempatia na to pocket I mean uh, paper mill. Um, 
Yeah. Uh, you see, this will also encourage people to produce relevant raw materials like cotton, sugarcane, commercial and agricultural activities to support industries and create employment for our people. Encourage investors, foreign and local, including our own children, to invest in this region. They should set up industries, regardless of their sizes, to create employment. We appeal to governors to take lead in creating conducive climate for investment. This should include availability of land, infrastructure like ro good roads, water, and friendly taxation, and of course, maintain peace in the counties, because no, no investor will come to put his money in an area where there is no peace. Otherwise, at a part of an amuka case of Pesaka, you may end up underground. Our people should be also encouraged to register as voters in big numbers and turn up in large numbers on the voting day. Obviously, we, we are being told we are the second biggest uh, community in the country. But when voting comes, we sit and say, well, Tungojema, Nani Amepita. We should register and vote to the last person. Kuna areas ambayo hata wagonjwa wanachukuliwa kutoka sivitali, watu wanabeba kwa uh, ambulances kuenda kufanya voting na wanarudisha kwa sivitali. We, we, sisi hapa hata haiko, kama hei kuna hede kipeke yaka anasema, ah, njoh, nyahani la sina. Sina haja ya kuenda huko. Tafadhali. So, uh, uh, people should encourage and we should all get out when it is time for voting. Yes, this is, this is how uh, being a second largest community, sorry, our people should be encouraged uh, yeah, to register as voters in big numbers and turn up as large, uh, at large numbers on voting day. This is how uh, being the second largest community in the country will be felt, respected, and gain high positions in the government of the day without begging or being free-for-ized. We should stop our apparent disunity which makes other communities think that our existence and our big numbers make no difference to the government. This attitude must stop there is nobody, no one else is to stop this attitude but us. We sitting here and those we have left behind. Elections are over. Hatred brought about during the election campaigns by politicians and their supporters in different parties and communities are among themselves and, and the communities or among themselves should be forgotten. Politicians must avoid personal attacks among themselves, more so in public, as this encourages hatred among supporters and other communities. We, Western Kenya region communities, have lived together for centuries and should therefore respect our differences in our clans, in our tribal behaviors and political parties and unite. We should not bring about uh, arguments or, or disliking because I belong to this tribe and the other one belongs to this tribe. I always give an example to the people. Me, in my house, I'm the only Muluya, almost. My wife was a Mteso. My son, the only son I have now, married the, a, a, a Maasai from Narok. The one who passed away to, 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 to 2010, Married the woman from uh, from Kiambu. My daughter is married in uh, in Kinyeri. Mungina iko Homa Bay. Mungina iko Ukambani. Because I'm a man of daughters. <laughs> Sasa, kama tukianza kupigana kwa sababu mimi ni mudwia na hile ni mjaluo au hile mungine ni mukamba.
me I, I will be happy hapa na msichanaangu ameoleka huko ukikuyu mkamba iko mambo ambayo inatugawanya we are we are bigana kususiana ku, you know it, it does not the, what one they are getting an advantage of us to, re, to back if you if you iwe tuwe tuambiwe tu kama the usual mnaambiwa watu wa western especially wa dunia tunajua tuna wanatujua tu uh, wapishi na 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 na, na askari uh, watchmen is this if anything i think the lawyers and people of western kenya uh, have been the most educated people from the pre independence time ninajua madaktari wa kwanza kabisa kwa kenya msima kwa madaktari walikuwa wanatoka busia is busia samia na huku eh mnawajua wengi wameenda lakini who else we are here the post, the first uh, uh, gynecologist alikuwa mlia kutoka wanga in kenya so we are there we have the brains we are united lakini hii point kidogo kidogo inatusumbua we must forget it and please mkiwa kwa nyumba ya mzee masidi ambaye ni mlia peke yake hapa let us start off by shaking off other uh, these connotations to talk up kama watu wa western province and we are going to work together and be what <clears throat> my elders are respected people from all profession all professions and walk of life thus when they look for you politicians and administrators we are not coming to beg for money but to discuss to discuss issues of mutual interest to us and to the country so be free to see us or listen to us whether on phone or in person when we want to see you many people think we or oh, was ever may you are when you calling or when he says he wants to see you in the office is coming to beg for money no certainly my team here will not come to beg for money and my team is representing you people is representing you people and it's not a simple team niliambia professor hakuweza kufika hii kampuni iko na professor niko na ma, 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 bankers wanakaa hapa 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 bankers niko na special branch at provision level ambao wako retired wako hapa hapa niko na uh, walimu mimi mmo, nikiwa mmoja kwa hao yeah? na so we wasifikirie kwa sababu sisi ni wasee ubongo umekwisha osa and we, there's nothing we can offer <coughs> wasee are custodians of the culture of the nation we should therefore be assisted to encourage and maintain our culture through cultural activities in the counties and in the region up to national level i'm happy and wish to congratulate the communities in this region who carry out cultural activities at christmas time the wase should be helped by counties to own a plot and build wase's office in each county and maintain it so that they meet and discuss their affairs at any time they want without looking for where to meet wazee wa kisi walipewa na governor wao a plot akawajengea iko registered kwa wazee jina la wazee alijenga kuna office ya chairman office ya vice chairman office ya secretary kuna board meeting room kuna na um, alikuwa ameandika wafanyikazi wane wale wa maintain compound ya wazee na wale wazee wa, ule wa kutengeneza chai na karani wanalipwa na county ya kisi huyo gwae alifanyia wa kisi mambo niliitwa huko 
na wakisi waliita ogwa waliita president eh, Kenyatta ndiye alifungua hiyo ofisi nimekwisha tembea huko hata ni nani nilienda naye kuona hiyo yes iko si atinasema maneno ya bure walienda na wakaona wali, ni ya wazee na pia for the time being nataka kushukuru uh, governor ambaye ameenda wa Busia alipatia wazee wangu wa Busia office lakini kwa ofisi sawa ofisi moja okay wakiwa na mikutano wanakaa huko but they should have their own office where they do their own things and uh, and be helped to maintain and also help the, to manage our country we are all together whether old or young we are still Kenyans and working in, or living in western province and living in the counties within western province so tafadhali tusaidiwe all who are say 60 years old and above have served this country in one way or another many are now able to help them are not are now unable to help themselves fully especially health wise we suggest therefore that all Kenyans 60 years and above should receive fully sponsored and uh, for in and outpatient medical benefits we are sure that each governor in this county can easily make this arrangement through NHIF or other, other ways other, in other, other ways we shall be very grateful if this can happen in all the counties I'm happy we have some governors here they are listening and hearing uh, we are among you <laughs> finally we have observed and noted that many areas in this country even those that do not support the incoming uh, uh, government are being dished out with the money for, pra for practical and essential development projects we thank the president for giving our people some positions which we have missed during the recent past government we however say we, we however as any other Kenyan and being a large community we deserve more you as our leaders should not be afraid or should not be shy to ask for more but eh? Let, we are not ungrateful. We are grateful. Like in on cases, should not be afraid or shy to ask for more. and be grateful for what we have received now I want to say this when I say how busy you are because I was also in your uh, in your tell you ya kwamba kama nakwisha pata kura hawarudi nyumbani tena tafadhali murudi nyumbani kutoka bungeni watu wa buhayo na western walikuwaide to go to the country to stay there utakufa upesi 
Rudi ufanye kazi huko. And by before March ends, I will be now counting. I mean, who are working? Please, Mumani Ingo. Amalemba atoka huko alisema alikuja akafungua uh, for, for those who may not know what it means ininga is a small kind of dove jioni paka irudi nyumbani So let us be in inga ye ingo. This what Musi don't shy to come home every week if you can. I was running a very big and when you do that. you will lose less money because you wanna kuso wea hapa hakuna mu people and university whatever i want to congratulate those watu wa nairobi na watu wenu hapa wana kufa njaa wana kufa umasikini wana ingia kwa wisi kwa sababu ya kutoji uweza wabawa nataka kuenda kwa sijasa hata wawa ambao waliangu kuka ngojea kidogo kasi tulia mungu atakuwekea mambo ingini yeah. i'm talking from experience minu mwenye wa hayo na wama wakimu na jua muli miangusha marambili nilianguka marambili ya lafu maratatu ni kaenda na nilipoenda nikafanywa kuwa minister and i thank god kama ningeenda safari ya kwanza siku nilipojaribu labda singekuwa minister so ma, mungu akikupangia usimufosi kukupangulia <laughs>